that's one of the things that I admire from your work. Is like it's it's a lot of nature. It's always yeah. in the wild or something like that. It's it's that it's that it's probably that's your style, right? Every, how how do you decide when a when a project comes to you? Uh, do you always have it like in a <laughs> in the top of your head? Oh, I want to shoot sure. somewhere. You know, Natalie's super intentional. She does that by choice. Like she can build a career around what she wants. So if she she likes, I mean, when she's not working, she's in the outdoors. Yeah. So she has yeah. naturally built a career around where she wants to spend her time. I, that was one thing I'll say about Natalie. She is the most intentional person. Mm -hmm. The way she presents herself or shows up or anything she does is is well thought out. She hasn't just so arrived nice. there at like some <laughs> random like curation, right? Yeah. It's very yeah. thought out from the way she presents her outfits to projects to where she goes or how she talks. It's all building towards a larger scope of stuff. Nice. I have no that's about beautiful. it. That's very kind. I went up to Washington to help shoot a documentary about wolves while I was out. Wow. Um, Which is beautiful. It came out. That's yeah, it just came out. Um, What's the name of it? It is called Range Rider. So it's, um, okay. it discusses if there is a way for wolves and ranchers to coexist on the landscape. It's very controversial, especially in the Western states and gotcha. uh, PNW. Yeah, that came out this, it's in the festival circuit right now. Yeah, awesome. um, that was by Colin Arisman, a very talented filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, I am very intentional about when I choose to do that. I love shooting in the outdoors. Um, and over the years, I really wanted to find a way to combine my my passion and my history with music with the outdoors and filming these, you know, because they actually pair quite well together Um in shooting these acoustic videos in these really beautiful spaces mm. and allowing space for that music to live. Um, and then, you know, I've shot some comedy stuff with David and um, on the outdoors, but, you know, and there's, there's obviously outdoor stories, like anytime I tell a story in a cowboy or hunting or whatever, that naturally fits that niche. But a lot of the commercial work that I do, it, I kind of like that it, coexists in its own box where we get to use really yeah. beautiful lighting and spaces and internal environments because a lot of what I do is outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I feel like I, if you do the project, if you bring it, it's got some sort of tie back to giving back to the earth. Which yeah, there's nothing. Well, and <laughs> oh, yeah, nobody's like, seen I mean, it. Uh, our short film we did, which I've, is fantastic. It's like I just two got the years audio old. redone on that, so we're going to re-release it here soon. I mean, it's <laughs> super old. Uh, it's like we shot it like, like two, two, three, three years, years ago. Two, three years ago. Yeah, so okay. we're still And it was, a, yeah, it was a short film um, I really about <laughs> um, global warming. When, and in, yes. in my mind, it was a comedy. really, it was a comedy, and it was a <laughs> really great way to communicate global warming to younger generations who don't really care or you're not going to be able to like feed them that information. Yeah. It was an AA meeting and, and each one of the members uh, plays a, like a, an element, uh, the, yes. you know, like fire, wind, water, and, and they're all intervening, um, intervention with fire. Fire so, and wind have a wind. friends with benefits relationship or yeah. wind is blowing fire. Yeah. It's real no, fun. Oh my God. You know, it's funny. The, uh, <laughs> It it always I I was going to tell who is who knows a, a little bit about climate change is um, when they get the Gale joke oh, and someone sure. laughs at them and I'm like oh, oh they, know. they know what a Gale is it was all <laughs> yeah. improv actors that came yeah, together for this cool. so obviously I have a script that I've written but allowing them the room to do what to they want and they brought and some great bit. flavor to that script but yeah, cool. to David's point even when I'm not. You know, I'm very passionate about conservation, the outdoors, and especially for our commercial shoots where it has nothing to do with the outdoors. I try to have like as green of a production as possible, and mm -hmm. you know, I feed my crew very healthy. Yes, um, <laughs> I I think that's really important for crews because I'm, I'm not going to carve a crew up in the middle of the day. They're going to want to pass out. You want some pizza? Or? Uh, no, I don't like, well, I mean, when she worked at Uni, that was always my favorite. I, I, it's funny. I, I'm now noticing. So much of my life is kind of curated around all of my experiences, and a lot of them tie back to work with Natalie. I got married in Trilingua, which I'd visited Trilingua quite a bit. I was a big, big Ben person. I, I like to camp. I spent less time in the ghost town on the way out. And then that shoot was so impactful on everybody involved. I still hear people talk about it. And I love Trilingua, so I started going back a lot. And then when I got engaged, we were trying to 
figure out where to get married and we're a little older and I was like, I don't want to have like a big wedding and we don't, like I want to dance with my mom and my grandmother so I want to have a real wedding and we got married in Terlingua and got married in that in ghost that church. church. Yeah. That's and so I, n- all my friends that came to the wedding, the few of them that did, um, like well, you're getting married where? And how do <laughs> where, I get there? Where do we have to go? So yeah, some are flying in from like New York and stuff and they have to and fly into in. Midland and drive four <laughs> hours. And they, I was like, also, I'm not kidding. Stop in Alpine. Make sure your tank is full of gas. And oh, I have make a sure, list I send people. When yeah, like because <laughs> if you get stuck in that hour, yeah. there is no cell service and you are done. Yeah. Wow. Like it's, you know, so it's out in the middle of nowhere. And so by the time the wedding ended, um, everyone was like, I will come back here. This place is amazing. I think Shane bought a piece of property. I was going to say, was, was Shane out at the Shane, wedding? The Shane wedding? showed up to my rehearsal <laughs> dinner and I, played a full show. It was oh, great. At the yeah. Starlight nice. Theater. It was... Oh, I really wow. wanted I to place. make it that <sighs> night. I had the. I was like teetering if I had the flu or not and was like, I cannot... I physically don't feel like I can drive eight hours right now. It I'm was so sad I missed them playing. Yeah, well, it's awesome. And at the same time, Shane, sorry if you're watching, but it, it was like the best night of the wedding. And I, even my wife agrees. It was like, it, that was kind of tough because like our wedding day was... Like the concert night, like our rehearsal dinner was awesome. Yeah. And them playing, like not a lot of my friends have heard of them and they're so good live and they did a full on show. And wow. it was That's so cool. amazing. And it was at the Starlight, you said? And it was at the Starlight mm-hmm. where so we went cool. and had celebratory cocktails after we finished the show. And, and yeah, it was one of those moments that just together. Yeah. tied amazing. back in. So a lot of those things that we do kind of have wound up being bigger, larger aspects of my life. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. That's amazing, man. Yeah. 